Okay, we're going to take a look at um, some animation settings and auto keyframing. So Cinema 4D, uh, like most 3D packages, has the ability to apply keyframes uh, to your objects automatically. So for an example of that, I'm just going to put a sphere in the view. Um, to initiate auto keyframing, you want to click this little center button. And you can, you'll notice it says automatic keyframing down there on the bottom. And the shortcut to that is Command F9. So I'm going to click that button. And you'll notice I'm on the first zero keyframe. It's not really doing anything. You don't see any keyframes showing up in the panel right here. But if I do go to somewhere, say, at the end, frame 90, and it can be anywhere along this timeline, and I move my object, uh, you'll notice it automatically creates a keyframe at frame 0 and connects it to frame 90. And so now we've got it, our sphere animated between those two points. And anywhere along the timeline now, if you move your object or if you uh, change its size, basically anything you do to this object when auto keyframing is turned on is going to record a keyframe and that will be part of your animation. So make sure you want auto keyframing on. Um, when you're fine tuning things, you probably don't want it on. Uh, but when you're, it's a really useful tool for blocking in general motion. So that is auto keyframing.